Welcome to Producing Unscripted with Joe and Biagio. YouTube enhanced version. Clickable table of contents in the description below. This episode. It's episode three. After last episode's cliffhanger, the wait is over. Today you'll learn the most important action you can take to help yourself succeed in unscripted film and television. We give you four insider secrets to instantly increase your odds of teaming up with us. And Joke reveals what I'll be doing for the next 38.4 years. Music courtesy Dave Pellman Music, DavePellman.com. Hey everybody, welcome to episode three of Producing Unscripted. She's Joke. And he's Biagio. Uh, We make unscripted film and television, and we want to help you do the same, hopefully by teaming up with us. Now, uh, just a quick update. We have a new website for this podcast. It's producingunscripted.com. At Producing Unscripted, the additional posts are going to be specifically about making, selling, and teaming up with us on reality TV, uh, documentary series, and uh, feature docs. Yeah, the other nice thing is that if you're looking for the show notes for these episodes with associated links to things we talk about, just head over to producingunscripted.com forward slash whatever the number is of the episode you're looking for. So if you wanted to find show notes for this episode, you'd head over to www.producingunscripted.com forward slash 003, which shows you that Biagio has high hopes of producing at least 999 episodes with a bi-weekly um, premiere that means we have episodes for 38.4 years. Gee, darling, do you know how old you'll be? You know what? It doesn't matter how old I'll be. It'll only matter how old I'll feel. And if we're still doing what we love, I'm going to feel like a 16-year-old kid. Good, good, good gracious. <laughs> yes. So this is episode 003. Of potentially 999. Now, of course, if you want to keep up with the possible 38.2 years or whatever it was, how many was it? 38.4. 38.4 years of episodes we hope to do. Uh, The easiest way is to subscribe over at iTunes or wherever you subscribe to your podcast at. So please go ahead and do that. And um, as new ways to listen uh, to the show become available, Stitcher, Miro, etc., we'll add those to the front page of ProducingUnscripted.com. God, you're just going to leave me hanging like that? So, Joke, did we end the last episode on a little bit of a cliffhanger? We or you? Me? Yes, you, you sure did, darling. <laughs> Notice how Joke refuses to take credit for the cliffhanger. But here's the good news. The yeah. wait is over. The wait is over. So we wrapped up the last episode by telling you that there was one thing you could do that would simultaneously make us want to work with you protect your idea in a way only you can and instantly increase your odds of having a career in the entertainment industry. This is the one thing almost no one who pitches to us does. And it's the one thing we did that really gave us a career joke. What is the one thing we are talking about? Make yourself valuable, make yourself valuable. How do I execute that command? How do I execute that command? Okay, so here are four things you can do to make yourself valuable when pitching your reality TV show or documentary series to us. Something you should know, however. I would say my advice, cutting straight to the point, you got to have more than one. Definitely. I list four. Don't pick just one and say, I did it. Try, Try to knock as many of them out of the park as you can. Number one, find a great real life character. Anyone that really pops where you're like, wow, people just cannot stop talking about this person. They walk into a restaurant and, you know, everyone starts eavesdropping on their conversation. You know, when you look at what the um, the Robinson clan has done on Duck Dynasty, you know, those are just true bigger than life characters. Um, But even if you look over at Bravo, you know, when you look at Patty or Jeff or, you know, many of the characters they have, those are bigger than life. You have to watch characters. You cannot imagine what they're going to say next. If they could read the phone book and it would be interesting, that's a character you want to put on TV. Sign them up. Sign them up. Number two way to make yourself valuable. Provide access to a unique world. 
if you have contacts or you know of something that we just have not seen on television, you know, just like the alligator hunting season that became swamp people or, you know, the guys doing um, gold mining for gold rush um, or even the the world of expensive concierge, you know, for the elite, you know, mothers to be that turn into pregnant in heels for Bravo. Any one of these worlds that you're like, wow, people just have not seen this and it's fascinating. Again, sign them up. That is something that it, that could potentially be a great TV show. And that's a unique world that could be right in your own backyard. Some of you listening don't live in New York or Los Angeles. Guess what? You're at a real advantage right now. You may live in the middle of nowhere, but there might be this totally awesome world in your own backyard that's completely normal to you and none of us have ever heard of. So look around. Is there an interesting, unique world we haven't seen on TV before? Something that's visual and active? Go in and figure something out. That is a great way to make yourself valuable. Number three, attach an exciting property. Whether it's a big recognizable brand or um, an intellectual property like a book or a podcast or anything else, um, that's something to sign up. Whether it's, you know, a big name like you know the people who run Cirque du Soleil and you can have, you know, all access. You know, we did Caesars 24-7. Someone brought Caesars Palace to them and said all access to Caesars Palace. That is, you know, a valuable commodity. That's something that can make you valuable to a project. And you might, this might sound like something you could never do. Let me tell you something. Our very first show we ever did was a show called Foodie Call on the Style Network. That came from a book that someone had published themselves called Cook Your Way Into Her Pants. Pants. This was not a bestseller. This was, I don't even know if it was in bookstores at the time, um, but a friend of ours went ahead and teamed up with the author and got permission to develop it into a series. And that ended up becoming the first show we ever made. So properties are out there. You don't have to necessarily go get, you know, Donald Trump or Beyonce. You know, maybe you can find some really excellent book or podcast or, um, you know, anything else that's branded. It doesn't have to be Pepsi. It could be a small local brand that's really interesting, but that is an existing property that you could bring into the equation. And that could be the jumping off point for a potential television show. Number four, wow us with a specific filmmaking skill. I can tell you right now, if you are good at something, really good at something, you know, professional level good at, you know, any any one of the line items in the show, it can make you extremely valuable to a project. Um, I can give you the little inside scoop. DPs and editors make the most money. So <laughs> they do. if you can hit one of those line items, you know, you'll be sure to be attached to the project and be able to make decent money. But again, you need to be able to prove yourself for that. I'm not just going to take your word for it that you've done a great job shooting family videos or, you know, editing local commercials. Or that you can run great interviews or that you can, you know, handle a cast or organize a terrific shoot. So it really is not enough for you just to tell us you have a great skill. You have to be able to prove it. And how do you prove that, Biagio? Well, you prove that with great tape. Okay. Now, here's the thing about great tape. We've written a lot about what making great tape means, and I'll put some of those links in the show notes. Also, you know, the prerequisite for pitching to us is signing up for our newsletter. Our newsletter is full of tips aimed at helping you make what we call great tape. I can't judge if you have a great character or a unique world or an exciting property or if you have any skills whatsoever if I don't see some kind of tape. That does not mean you need to go broke making a tape. Just the opposite. Uh, what you need to do is manage your resources to give us little bits at a time so that we can help you decide if there's a show there. Now, we're going to talk a lot more about the process of pitching to us and making great tapes in future episodes. But for right now, what you need to know is when you discover a great character, a unique world, or an exciting property, you need to prove that you're going to bring some value to the project by making some kind of tape. Uh, and to get started with that, head on over to jokeandbiagio.com slash newsletter. Sign up for that because that is full of tips that will get you started, as well as some other posts that I will put in the show notes. Now, we know we've given you four tips on how to make yourself valuable to a project. I have one extra one. Is this a bonus joke? Consider it a bonus. Bonus number five. You make yourself valuable by having a great personality. And what I mean by that is... 
We all get busy. We all deal with lots of people. If you're someone that is a joy to deal with, that is easy to communicate with, that, you know, asks questions, but never the same ones twice, who is learning from the process, who seems interested in learning and growing and, and you know, great communicator all around. Well, that's someone we want to partner up with. Because if this show is a hit, we could be working together for 10 years in the trenches. I mean, we're going to get up close and personal. You'll be spending hours with us. Production is like going to war. You have to find the partners you're willing to be in the trenches with. Because there's going to be late nights, stuff is going to go wrong, and we have to be able to rely on each other to get through it. Um, and therefore, personality is a big thing. And that's not just in the people we team up with or people whose ideas we team up on. It really is also in our hiring. So, you know, we've been around this for a little bit. And I tell you what, if you have a great personality, it's going to go a long way. To recap, five ways, four plus one bonus, that you can make yourself valuable when pitching us a show. Number one, find a great character. Number two, provide awesome access to a unique world. Number three, attach a unique, interesting property. Number four, prove you have some really awesome skill and do that by making a tape, which we need to see to prove the first three anyway. And bonus number five, please be nice. (laughs) Please be someone we want to work with for 10 years. To wrap things up, remember, make yourself valuable and the world will take notice. Or at least we will. Well, next episode, we're going to talk about something really important. Is this another cliffhanger? No, no, no. Well, it's a little bit of a cliffhanger. (laughs) Is this what we call a next on tease? This is a next on tease, honey. Got it. Yes, yes, it is. So next time on this show, that's where next on comes from, we're going to give you five bulletproof steps to help you develop your show without going broke and ensure that you do not shoot a pitch tape unless your show is sellable. We're going to save you money, people. What more could you ask for? Who doesn't like a good coupon? (laughs) There you go. So please, head on over to iTunes if you're listening to us and you like what we're doing. If you could leave us a comment and give us a rating, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, And until next time... Thank you so much. Producing Unscripted with Joe Biagio.